there's an enormous amount of information available online about WordPress and designing your website using the WordPress framework. So I'm not going to reinvent the wheel. There are dozens of really solid videos that you can find on YouTube that will help you understand how WordPress works and getting started is just unbelievably easy. I will share that I use GoDaddy Hosting. I've been with them for five years. Most of my websites are built with WordPress. I do find the drag and drop site building editors helpful. But I do want to make, give you an opportunity to understand the caution about a WordPress site. Because WordPress is so popular, it is under attack all the time from people who are trying to hack into sites. So I'm going to give you three tips about setting up a WordPress site. The first step is, unless you're doing a massive e-commerce site where you're selling lots of pages of lots of products, and it really makes sense to have your uh, authorized merchant account and you're engaging in credit card transactions right on your website, then um, you're going to be okay with, with WordPress. I recommend that if you're not at that level of e-commerce that you set up a PayPal account and that you have your transactions go off your website just for a minute to do the financial tr transaction and then redirect people back to your site for fulfillment of their order, their download, whatever it is that you need to do. Take them to PayPal first, let them securely pay, and then take them, redirect them to wherever you need to to give them their uh, purchase. The reason I suggest this is you will eliminate a lot of hassle in your life. You won't have to be worried about people hacking your site, although you will have to be um, up to date when WordPress puts out new versions because it has to do this quite frequently. So you'll need a webmaster who is pretty engaged with your website and who's ready to do these things. That's tip number one. Tip number two about using WordPress is make sure that you or your webmaster download the plugin WordFence Security and use it and take the time to go through in all the options you have for the protection that WordFence offers you and make sure you include themes and plugins as part of your scan. Now, WordFence is great. You can click in within the software uh, setup. You can click for WordFence to automatically update itself. And I do recommend that you have an email address that you will give to WordFence that they can notify you if something is amiss with your account. I will say in the couple of years I've been using WordFence, I have not had my site hacked. And I was able to convince other uh, clients of mine who were being a little bit casual about their website maintenance that they really needed to install uh, WordFence in their WordPress websites. That's tip number two. Tip number three is one of the most horrifying things that can happen to a website is the trollers who are they're not going to hack you they're going to try to find ways to spam you and they're going to load up your comments area with um, absolutely irrelevant spam comments and promotional items and this is just I, the first year I the first website I ever built I went through this and I remember one day like I hadn't been in the site for a week and I went in and there were like 700 comments and two of them were valid and the rest were spam no one wants to spend this, their time this way. It's like your email account where all you're getting are promotional things that you just are not interested in. And you have to take the time to delete them and unsubscribe. So to preempt that problem so that you can focus your time and be efficient with your business if you're doing a website-based business, also download the plugin No Comment. No comments shuts down the native WordPress comment process. No problem. Just get rid of it. You won't have these comments to go through. This is why you see a lot of the um, more savvy marketers 
directing people to take their comments to Facebook because it saves them the aggravation of having spam comments clog up their website sites, slow down their view, affect their website's performance in the search engines. They direct people to Facebook and that is a terrific solution for you. So in addition to having your WordPress website, you are going to want to set up a Facebook page if only for a place for people to leave comments for you. And if you don't want to mind that page, you're not going to have your website hacked and your uh, Facebook page won't be hacked either. Now that's not true of Twitter. If you neglect your Twitter page, you can end up with some pretty smarmy stuff um, in your Twitter account. So the tips, once again, right? First of all, give WordPress a try. It's really easy to do, uh, set up, use, and a lot of the hosting companies will uh, talk you through that process. And they offer WordPress with other website frameworks for a really good reason. It's enormously popular and it's really easy to design your website yourself. So I'm going to show you in a minute um, how I've incorporated a couple of other elements into my WordPress website. So WordPress is great. Don't do um, credit card transactions on your site. Send your customers to PayPal and then t redirect them back to your site or wherever they need to go to get their purchase from you. Install WordFence security and please install no comments if you're using WordPress and then just redirect people to in your communications to leave comments for you on your Facebook uh, fan page and you can do that in your um, thank you letter email that you send thanking people them for the purchase just say and we'd love to hear from you be sure to stop by our Facebook page and leave any comments for us there and you're done Okay, so that's tips one, two, and three, and go and look on YouTube for extensive WordPress videos. There's a lot of functionality there. I think you're going to really like it. This is an example of um, a page that I built out in WordPress, and this is using the page building resource Optimize Press 2, which I like. It has wonderful things you can do with it if you're a bit clever. Now again, you have to be a smart clicker to use this stuff. This is why I gave you the free course. But you can see here with this page, I have video uploaded, the graphics are strong, I've got buttons activated, there are text blocks that you can set up, and you can just let people know what's going on, and you can create some beautiful pages. This is a WordPress website. Now, the other thing that, that is great about WordPress, because people use it so often, is that developers are always adding things and plugins to connect something that they're offering to a WordPress platform. And that's what Optimize Press has done. They're very WordPress friendly. The same is also true of lead pages. This is the home page for um, SmartClick's lead generation website. And you can see that the branding is consistent, but what is great about this is this is actually a published page within the lead pages platform, but lead pages offers a plugin for WordPress. And I'm going to show you in the back office what that looks like. So while this page is published and live on the lead pages cloud platform, I also have it available to me here in my back office, you'll see lead pages. You see Optimize Press. So I can work these wonderful marketing pages and connect them to my website that I've built in WordPress. And you look here and you'll see that I have absolutely got no comments set up. It is important. And WordFence security. So this is just another little bonus video for the free course because as you progress and as you move along, you're always going to have questions and things are going to come up and you're going to have a little bit of an information gap. And this is one of the things that I found when I was learning to do this when I started out. So I'm trying to um, get you over the little bubbles where you won't know why you're doing 
what you're doing or we won't know why your Word, WordPress site is full of spam comments. And believe me, it's an enormous waste of time. So I'm trying to just get you over some of the little information gaps that will make a real difference in terms of your own productivity and how you're able to use your time. Okay, take care. That's it.